Hello guys, today I want to show you two examples of taking random data from the database with collection methods. And this example comes from our LaravelDaily.com source. The source is not public, the repository is not public anywhere, but I decided to pick some gems and interesting decisions from the source code and shoot them as separate videos. So we're talking about these two examples. And they are used visually on the homepage of LaravelDaily.com, randomizing two things. First, you see the tags here, the tag kind of bar and structurally it takes 40 different tags from the database out of those 40 it takes randomly 10 and shows them here those 40 are the most popular tags so the tags with most amount of records like tutorials and videos around them and then you can click any tag and go to for example belongs to many page with videos of that tag. So this is one thing to randomize. And then another on the homepage in the list of various like new content, you may find this one premium course. It is a typical like sales and marketing technique, like among the free content, would you like to pay for premium? And that random one course has also its own logic, which course to show. So first with that course, course is an eloquent model. We're loading that with media because we're using Spotty Media Library to load this image automatically. Then published is a scope. So we're loading only the published courses. Then did you know that there is a latest? Latest is the same thing as I would write order by release date descending like this. So latest release date is a shorter thing. Or if you skip the parameter, that latest is by default order by created at descending. So in our case, we're ordering the courses by release date, then we get three of them and get. So this is where the database query ends with get. In other words, we're loading three latest courses. But then if you want to get any of those three, so the whole logic is one of the three latest courses then you can continue the chain of the eloquent sentence and add collection methods on top. So shuffle would shuffle the collection and then taking the first. So I really like the sentences like this one and not only for myself, from other developers. It's kind of a one liner or one sentence chaining the methods, chaining the logic, but still is pretty readable. Another example, the second one is about tags. So we're loading tags with count of taggables. We're using Spotty Laravel tag package for that. We're excluding the examples and the packages because they have different logic and they shouldn't be counted as like the most popular. Then we order by taggables count. And then this is the part that I wanted to show you. So we take 40 and get, and again, this is where the query ends. The database query is executed with get. So by the end of that, we will have 40 most popular tags by taggables count. And then again, collection method of random 10. So the result of that would be 10 random eloquent models. So these are just two examples that I liked personally, and I wanted to show you. And if you want to dive deeper into more examples of such collections, I have a separate course, Laravel collection chains, 15 real examples. And there will be examples of these like filter, map, implode, push, each, reject, and others. All those examples are from real projects, from open source projects that I found online. So if you want to write sentences like this, you may find that course interesting. The link will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.